Tammy Cabrera. I'm from St. Louis Park, Minnesota, and I'm a cheesecake baker, and I own a cheesecake bakery. Muddy Paws Cheesecake makes 222 flavors of cheesecake varieties using made-from-scratch uh, local ingredients, and uh, we make great creamy cheesecake. We've been doing it for 22 years. People know us for cheesecake. There is nothing better. But now we are ready to, br to branch out, to lift our wings and do something new with it, and that's Camp Cheesecake. Camp Cheesecake is a way to get cheesecake to all the areas that can't get our cheesecake, because everybody should have our cheesecake. So this is a way to get our cheesecake in their hands. So Camp Cheesecake is going to do that. Camp Cheesecake can go to weddings, it can go to softball games, it can go to churches, fundraisers, it can go down city streets, right to your driveway, right to your business. It can go anywhere. So you can get cheesecake anytime you need it. I'm seeking $390,000 in exchange for 30%. I'm going to use the money to buy a whole building that we can base our headquarters out of, have a storefront at, a bakery, and a place to store all of our campers. When I say campers, that means I want to buy 10 more campers. We're not just talking one. So we make 222, 222 flavors of Chicago-style cheesecake. I grew up in Chicago. I know cheesecake. It's incomparable because we use fresh ingredients, real ingredients using humane farms, local ingredients as much as possible. There's no preservatives. We even have gluten-free and vegan. So for 22 years, we've been making cheesecakes. We made over 7,000 cheesecakes a year, but we're ready to do a lot more than that. We're, the time is now. And who else has a camper that's doing a camper for cheesecake? And a camper is a food truck, so it's novel and different all by itself right there. But it's also trendy, it's cool, it's fun. It crosses all ages and all demographics. All right, well, there's three things that make us really unique and really different. Is one, we have Chicago-style cheesecake that's made from scratch with real ingredients, farm ingredients, no preservatives, all fresh, using as many local ingredients as possible. You cannot get any better than our cheesecake. Also, the camper. No one else has a camper they're using for a food truck, let alone a cheesecake truck. I go to food truck things all the time. There's no campers, there's no dessert, so this will be super fun. Three, you know, we've been making cheesecake for 22 years. I don't know any other cheesecake makers that have made for 22 years, and we're ready to grow. We're, we've been doing it long enough, but we've been doing, we're, we've been small. We're ready to go big, and we're ready now. So Muddy Paws Cheesecake has been in business for 22 years. We have a solid following. We're big on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and we have a lot of solid customers. We do over 500 weddings a year. We serve 35 restaurants. So we have an established business. But Camp Cheesecake, we launched about six months ago. We're really confident that we could get this going with the one camper, but with the money, we could go big with it. We could get 10 campers, and by next year, we could have a franchise and then go hopefully nationwide. So I really see the potential of this and what we can do with it, especially with our following already. We have 30,000 followers. I know they're going to go with us. Since Muddy Paws Cheesecake's inception, we have taken in $5,175,000. That breaks down to 8,000 cheesecakes a year. Muddy Paws Cheesecake and Camp Cheesecake both have national trademarks. Cheesecake is a classic. Campers are classic. They're match made in heaven. But why it's different is there's no other food trucks that are also that are also a camper. And when have you ever seen a camper that's serving cheesecake? Never, because Camp Cheesecake is the first one of its kind. It's fun. People will be excited about it. It's way different than any other food truck I've ever seen. I can only imagine what it's going to do in a camper setting where we can actually go right to them, to their softball game, to their home, to their work, to their to their wedding. So about six years ago, um, I actually bought a school bus that I wanted to do a similar concept out of because I wanted to take our cheesecake to the road. And then I realized I didn't know how to drive a school bus. I don't know how to fix a school bus. I don't even know where a school bus parks at night. So I sold the school bus and gave up that idea. Then I was talking to a friend two years ago and she was showing me pictures of her vintage camper telling me how, how fun it is and I was taking a look at it and I thought, oh, so cute. I thought my kids would love this. And all of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. I was like, wait, I could sell cheesecake on a camper. How fun is that? It would be so different and so fun. I could bring it places. I started talking about it and everybody I've talked to has just loved the idea and it's been such a fun topic. So I've invested my full value of my home, $180,000 plus me. I've invested all of my salary. I've never taken a salary. I invested it back into the company because that's how much I believe in it and what we do. What I want to do with the money can take Muddy Paws and Camp Cheesecake to big places. If I don't get it, I'll be really sad because this has been my life's dream, what I've been working towards. If I don't have it, I'll still have Muddy Paws and I still love it. I still love our audience, but I can do such big things and I know I can do it. Well, I was born an entrepreneur. My father had over 25 different businesses. I started working for him at age four, doing everything from painting to sweeping to putting money in the jukebox to feeding the pigs. So I have been, 
I've gotten no sleep since the day I was born, I will say, because that's what entrepreneurs do. They don't sleep. So um, I've, I've worked full time since age four. By age 14, I was able to raise enough money through all my jobs to buy a house with cash. So food to me is very important, not only on a taste level, but a quality level, but an emotional level. I grew up with great food. My parents had restaurants. My parents had hotels. I grew up cooking at a young age. I grew up t telling chefs how to make my food at a young age. Um, I started baking cakes at age five. I love food. I love, I love everything about it. And um, it's a way to bring people together. It's, it's, it's a social thing. When I moved to the Twin Cities, though, uh, I could not find the kind of cheesecake that I grew up with in Chicago. So I instinctively just started making it and bringing it into where I worked. And pretty soon the orders were coming in left and right from their clients and their clients and their clients. And pretty soon it was a problem. So I knew I had stepped onto something that was a true niche that had to be developed. One thing we hear all the time is, I wish you were by me. I wish your cheesecake was by me. I even hear that in Chicago, no matter where I go, I wish we had a cheesecake by us. So this is my answer to that, finally, after all these years. I can get cheesecake right to them, wherever they are. My ultimate goal is to get cheesecake in everyone's hands, everywhere in the, in the United States. And I feel like, with your help, I can do that. One thing that I feel like is really different for me is that I did grow up traveling. And I don't just mean Europe. I traveled to over 81 countries before I was 21. And that includes over 15 third world countries. Uh, my father and I backpacked around the world, only taking a few airplanes, otherwise backpacking, and really seeing what the world was all about. I saw so much beauty, so many neat cultures, so much great food, but also so much starvation and death and sadness. It really changed me and formed me for who I am and who I am today. And I do feel like food is a common denominator between celebrations in life and sadness in life, community and family. And I feel like I love being at the center of that with cheesecake and cheesecake again is a comfort food and I can't wait to communicate our product with local communities, bring them all together. Okay. My biggest challenge so far is cash flow. I, I speak the words of many in business. It's truly cash flow. Having so many ideas and so many, so many ideas that I want to channel places and not having the cash flow to do that. Having the money from you will allow me to do that and be able to launch Camp, Camp Cheesecake to a place I know it can go. I know it can go big and I'm ready for it. That's the difference now than I maybe was 20 years ago. So I kind of wanted to hang on to it, but it's kind of like a children. I do have four children and now they're getting older and I'm having to get myself ready for that too, is, is letting go. And I think of my business as, a, as an extension of my family and a, a child in itself. And now I'm ready to let that child grow up and get bigger and better and see what it can do. And that's what this camper is for me. I'm ready to take an investment, share the equity and see what it can do. One great thing is I did go to school for journalism and advertising, so for me, marketing and advertising comes natural, but I didn't realize how much it would tie into to business. So when I first started, right off the bat, I've been featured in magazines and newspapers and gotten awards from the very beginning. Our wall is filled. I don't know why I'm so blessed, but I truly am. We have so many great awards. We have won Silver Spoon Awards. We won Best of Minnesota. We have won Best of Weddings, the Best of the Knot. We um, were featured on Food Network with Al Roker on Roker on the Road. And we were invited to the White House for our social media abilities. Uh, we were invited there for the day. I got to hang out with the White House staff. That was big for us. We were invited to the NBC uh, Emmy Awards last year, and that was really fun for us. We have been, um, been on Channel 5 News, Channel 4 News over 20 times. We also had over 55 publications write about us and I've been the guest chef on Carol Levin NBC show. My friends and family have always been on board with me with, with Muddy Paws Cheesecake. They've been so supportive of, of me over the years and so good about um, spreading the news and just so exciting. But they are, they are so excited for Camp Cheesecake. Not only that, but our followers, our customers, our fans, they are so excited. I, I've had so many people come up to me or posts. We've had over 7,000 retweets on this alone. People are so excited. It makes me feel good. It makes me, gives me a lot of energy. Um, actually, this is the first time I'm actually standing by the camper. I went last night and drove out west of Minnesota, way west. Um, there was a beautiful sunrise and it was a three hour drive and I brought it back. And uh, my first drive with it was here today. And on the way here, someone actually stopped me and hired me for the graduation party. They'd saw some mention on it in the news and they were just so excited. So it makes me, that's a true sign to me that it's gonna be big.